when God is moving you, you have to make peace with your past. Mm -hmm. Now, hear me out. I've been reading this book called Making Peace with Your Past by H. Norman Wright. And y'all, if you're not ready, ready to deal with yourself, don't pick this book up. But if you're ready to heal and you're just tired of being sick and tired of yourself and you're ready to move forward, pick up this book. Why? Because when God is moving you, you cannot take the old into the new. Obviously, he's trying to do a new thing in your life. You may not understand it, but he's going to need you to perceive it. And one way that you can do that is by making peace with your past, meaning you need to let it go. You need to stop harboring resentment. You need to stop holding on to bitterness. You need to break away from perfectionism. You need to cope with re rejection now i don't know if you need to really cope with rejection you need to be delivered from all of these things honestly so if you're dealing with rejection you need to allow god to show you where it comes from where's the root of it so you can deal with it so some things in this book i agree with the context but the way that it's said i don't agree with because i'm not going to cope with rejection like if i know who i am and i know who i am in christ and my identity, I'm not going to cope with rejection. I want to be delivered from it completely. So when God is moving you, you can't take access baggage with you, right? So, you know, throughout life, we go through things and we're just carrying all of this stuff with us from like every season to the next. We're carrying, we're carrying, we're carrying. We're taking something from our past and taking it into our next. And we're taking something old and taking it into our next, whether it be a person our mindset, our habits, like we're just taking things with us. And God is like, there's no way I could ever do what I actually need to do if you want to keep carrying this stuff. And I'm trying to take you from this level to the next. Like I want you to live in the fullness of joy, you know, like the abundance that I said is for you. So how can we ever make room for abundance and fullness of joy if we are carrying excess baggage? Meaning that we don't have the capacity to actually receive the new that God is trying to give us because he's moving us. We don't want to accept change and we don't want to adapt. 